Hey peeps, it's Andercon playing on the ALP server. I was told to check my mail. So, uh, here's my mailbox. There's a new theme park, huh? Have you ever wanted to explore the 1.8 oceans with amazing new mobs but not wanted to play on buggy snapshots? Well, now you can. Come on down to SeaWorld and have the time of your life. Why not take a wet and wild ride on a, uh, Horsey? The Seahorse. <laughs> I guess Horsey is the name. Or for the thrill seekers and uh, adrenaline junkie junkies, why not see how long you can survive in a tank with a mighty kraken? Safety not guaranteed. <laughs> well, well, let's go check this out. I do believe Crazy Man's been working on something or other over here for some time. And I had no idea what it was for the longest time. There you take on the Kraken. Welcome to SeaWorld. <laughs> the seahorse. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> well then. Uh, what the heck is this mess? Water bottles here. Uh, air tanks, huh? Potions of water breathing. Uh, let's go check that out. I... Oh, hi. <laughs> what are you up to? He just sells things. I don't know what he's doing in there. And I also have no idea what this contraption's supposed to be. I... I, I don't know. It's mostly empty. Alright, I guess it's an uh, air compressor of some sort. What's this? Do you take on the Kraken? Enter at own risk. Oh, that's the Kraken! Oh god! <laughs> Derpy squid. Let's go uh, check out the seahorse first. Let me just take something out of my inventory here. Um... <laughs> and ride this horse here. Right, come on! Ah! No! Ah, uh, can't hold shift. Okay. There we go. Um, <laughs> this is quite the wild ride, huh? <laughs> well, at least I can <laughs> swim around a little bit on the seahorse. That's pretty cool. <laughs> go around in circles. <laughs> what the heck? Alright. Let's go uh, check out the Kraken. <laughs> uh, this is silly. Oh no! The mighty Kraken! <laughs> There's only one in here. Let me drink this. Ah, there we go. Oh, <laughs> it's even named the mighty Kraken. Hilarious. Oh, <laughs> uh, what the heck. I guess we like to have fun around here. That's pretty good. I like that a lot. So, anyway, I actually have an idea for something to add on and build to this. Um, let me actually whip out one of these. Welcome to SeaWorld, huh? What's this sign? It's a, the same. Alright. So, uh, if you managed to see the, uh, last quick place blocks, I built a rather large, uh, and interesting restaurant made out of a giant squid. But, uh, you know, it turned out okay, but not as good as it really could have. So... I actually came up with uh, some ideas on better stuff to uh, build it out of. And uh, we're going to go ahead and mess with that a bit. Let me get most of this extra junk out of my inventory I'm not going to need so much of. So, blue stained clay, cyan stained clay. Now, the thing about this is it's not going to be exact. Um, when, when making things out of just clay, you're not going to have a bunch of the exact same colors. Uh, and things are going to be a little bit different. But, uh, we'll see how it goes. Let me get some of this, uh, dirt out here to get myself situated and get something to build on. <laughs> so, I went ahead and marked out the, uh, pretty much where it's going to be. A squid is 12 by 12, and I think it was 16 high, or 14, one of the two, I can't remember. But, uh, we're just going to start from here. So, you can probably tell... Some of these colors aren't going to be exact. Exact. This thing is going to be more purple than it is going to be much <laughs> blue, really. So uh, we'll see how it turns out. It should look pretty good when I'm done. And I literally have on my laptop sitting over here uh, a picture of a squid. And I'm kind of like just following along like it's a stencil or something on the uh, particular blocks that you got a place for uh, for that. And I got a block for every color. And there's quite a few different colors here. 
And I'm getting steak just thrown at me everywhere. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> oh, Peep's trying to troll me already. I'll just pick them up and eat them. Oh, hey. Alright, so this will likely take some time to fill in all the blocks. I'm not entirely sure how tall this sucker is supposed to be. I think it was supposed to be 16, but uh, I could always count. Well, or just follow along with this whole entire stencil thing. Uh, that's going to be a funky mess. While people harass me the entire time. <laughs> so anyway, this is going to be the face. Uh, and so it's going to be built a little bit different than the other bits and pieces. Uh, just a little. Let's see. i got to make sure I leave a way to get up here, too. All right. So yeah, this is just going to be a huge mess. I'll get back with you. Well, as you can probably tell, like I said, it's not exactly going to be a blue squid. <laughs> More of a purple squid. But uh, with clay colors, that's probably the closest I'm going to get. But um, it's also very difficult to really follow along. But fortunately, the next two sets are like exactly the same, so I can just do it like this. Uh, mostly just this color. But anyway, <laughs> uh, this is not going to just be a giant squid. I actually have plans for this giant squid. I'm going to be doing some things with it. Um, I've actually thought about... Uh, dressing it up and changing its uh, appearance all the time. You, we could put a baseball cap on it during baseball season, maybe get a, give it a hockey mask sometimes, uh, give it a crown on occasion. Uh, we could stick different things in its arms. It could be strangling some of the sidewalks and things like that. So, yeah, I'm going to have a fun, crazy time with this. <laughs> It's going to be interesting when it's done, and uh, it's something I can go back to and change frequently, which is going to be pretty cool. Uh, I just got to get ready for the eyeballs, Let's see, and provide more scaffolding to get up to it. All right, so this is the uh, not quite the eyeball layer. I think I need to have to have one more. Uh, and this one's a little bit different. Okay, so I go with that color. And I skip the dark, and I go on to this, and I stick to these here. Yeah, this is this is going to be a real pain to build, <laughs> and I don't know how my commentary is going to hold up while I build it. This is a pain, but oh well, I'll try, and it'll likely be punctuated profusely. Uh, hold on, I got okay. Yeah, this is correct. Two colors here. But um, it ought to look pretty interesting. I'm also going to stick in all the insides, too. Probably even throw in a colon with a button where you can flush the colon out. <laughs> That'd be funny. And maybe stick a giant ink sack inside. That'd be good, too. Uh, might be able to stick a little brain in there, made out of another rack and somewhere in the top. Uh, okay, I think the next layer is the eyeballs, or at least the beginning of the eyeballs. Um, and they're very similar, so I'll just do two at a time here. I do it like that, and then I got an eyeball made out of snow, and an iris made out of black wool. Uh, that should work. Uh, there's quite a few different things I could use, like gold block or obsidian or something. I could use quartz for the eye itself here, or white wool. Either one would work, but uh, I decided to go with snow. Hopefully it doesn't melt on me or something. Actually, I don't think it can. Woo! <laughs> Alright, uh, I think i got to go with this stuff. Yeah, three blocks of this, I believe. Yes, okay, and then two, let's see, one of these, and then I'll a new eyeball. Um, so this should uh, start shaping up pretty quickly. So I need to do that. Alright, uh, let's go take a look at this and see how it's going. Yep. <laughs> They're tall, <laughs> very tall. Uh, notice this funky color of clay here is like the light colored. Like if you actually went and looked at a squid, which uh, we got the kraken sitting around down there, but he's underwater. It's kind of hard to see. But if you actually look at him, he's got a light color, um, a really light color of blue. But I don't really have a good clay color for that, so I just changed the color to like this brownish color instead. 
Um, all right, show me your face cracking. <laughs> well, and you can see it right here. That's that's that light color. I'm sub uh, I'm changing out. Um, so he's got four basic colors on him, I think. Maybe five? Five. Uh, and most of them are all blues, but I don't have that many blues to play with. So we got to interpret some of the colors a little differently. Uh, anyway, this is looking decent already. And I also got the plan for how you get in the entrance. I might even have him holding a giant straw or something. I don't know. We'll see what I end up with uh, in, in the end. But uh, I want you to be able to enter the insides through the mouth and then explore the insides. I don't know if I'll make it a maze inside. That's just a thought I just had now. But th that'd be interesting. Maybe I could do that. Get lost inside the squid. All right, uh, this one, I'm actually just going to do one at a time because it's a little bit funky in spots. Uh, see, I need the, um, all right, purple next, and then this color here. Yeah, three blocks of that, I think. No. <laughs> Oops. All right, well, this is why we have a pickaxe. So what is underneath this, anything? No, okay, that is correct, though. This is the way it's supposed to be. All right, now, this funky color. Now, it took me some time to decide upon the colors for this thing, because it was just odd. Uh, I tried several variations in a creative just to see if I could figure out something that would work uh, pretty well. And this turns out to be decent. Uh, so I'm right above the eyeball, aren't I? Yes, okay, this is so far correct, okay. All right, the next one up, I gotta change some stuff. And then I go back to the purple, and then onto that, and uh, block of this, uh, two blocks of that color, light gray, okay. Well, anyway, you can see all the colors here. Black stain, blue stain, cyan, light blue, and gray, and uh, that's pretty much making up my whole squid. Um, back to this color? Yeah. Oh, yeah. this is technically 3D pixel art. <laughs> uh, I actually haven't done much of that uh, ever, but it can be fun. I have done a little bit. I've seen some really good stuff done in uh, Minecraft pixel art before. I right, see so we are. This is going to be the third block above the eye. All right, well, so far on this side, it's just a repeat. Mm, it's a little hard to see. I think I got... Okay, two blocks of this. And then three blocks of the uh, this color here. Yeah, that's correct. All right, I'll go ahead and put this block here. I know it's going to need to be there. And, um... Oi. Okay. I think... I have this figured. Okay, then. And, of course, the sides are all going to be different than the top. I think the next thing I'm going to make is going to be the mouth. Uh, and I actually got... Uh, there's quite a few different things you could use for its teeth, too. About the same kind of stuff you could use for uh, the eyes, like I did with the snow. Um, I was thinking about using quartz, but I don't know if I'll do that. I may actually just use the uh, white stained clay instead. Uh, where am I? That there. Two blocks of that stuff here, and then two blocks of this. Uh, one block of that. Two blocks of the purple, and then the brown. We're really close to the top now. Uh, two more blocks up is the top, basically. Uh, I'm actually going to have to get some more of this light blue. Well, I got a whole ton of it in there, so that'll do the trick. And I'll have to double check to make sure I did the rest of this right. Alright, um, and there is <laughs> one block short on this stuff. Okay, well, let me just go ahead and get that now. And some small quantity of damage. Uh, light blue. I got the stuff to make up more colors if I need it, too. Oh, full stack. Alright. And 
scaffolding is going to be a mess. But, oh well. Alright. I can finish that. And on to this color here. Yes. Like so. Now to the brown and the top is nothing but brown. Alright, let's go and double check to make sure this turned out good. Then I'll do all the sides. Well, actually, I'm going to do the, f the middle first and then the side. Okay, uh... Looking at my other image. I got the bottom block in the water. And that's intentional. That should uh, work out pretty good. I think it looks good. i stand back a little bit. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't look like I screwed up on anything. Not that I can see, anyway. Uh, yeah, he looks good. Okay, uh, on to the center bits. Now this, I haven't really got an image... Well, I could just go look at the mouth of a squid and figure it out, but... Uh, hmm. Let's see. I actually gotta build the bottom bits of this, or I could just fill it in like so. Uh... Let's see. I'll just leave the outside edge for the moment and try to figure out exactly what I want to do for the inside. I'm thinking something kind of like this. And yeah, this is why the dirt scaffolding was useful in the middle here. Yeah. I want them to have a large gaping maw you can just kind of walk into on the bottom. Let's see. There's various ways I could do this. Uh, I could actually go find a squid and look at him, too. Uh, yeah, here's one right here. Where are you? Or come, 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 come here, you. Just go stick my face in his mouth, basically. Uh, he doesn't stay still very well. Not enough to really copy his exact blocks. And he's got quite a lot of teeth. Uh, that's a lot of teeth in there. Um... Okay, I'm just going to have to basically do my own thing on that. And hopefully it'll turn out good. It doesn't have to be exact. Um, so I'm just going to have him have a smaller mouth. It doesn't have to be that enormous. And I was also going to make the uh, some of the mouthy bits a different color. So I've got a whole bunch of red stained clay and purple stained clay for basically this reason. I'm also going to pull out the white for the teeth. And uh, we're going to try playing around with that a bit and see how this works. I don't need any of this. I might need some cyan or purple, but uh, we'll just keep that available. Now I was thinking about basically having a, uh, a ring of this stuff. See, I may not want to be this big, so I may need to whip out some purple, stick it in here uh, around the outside edge. And I'll probably do this. I need to grab some more though. Eh. Where are you at, purple? Blue stained? Is that the right one? I think it is. Yeah. I think. <laughs> I think that's the right color. I hope so. Alright, I'm gonna do this. Slap that in there. Uh, I think I was gonna stick a ring of purple. About like so. Uh, and put in the corners. Eh. Need that pickaxe. There. Now the next one's probably going to be teeth mixed with red stained clay, probably. Uh, but I may actually use this color. I'm not entirely sure exactly. I was thinking about either sticking in the teeth like uh, here. Um, but I don't know if that's going to work exactly. I probably need to stick it out a block. Let's see what works. Ah, oh, okay, yeah, this is the right spot. Okay, that'll work for the mouth and teeth, I think. Uh, yeah, that works. That looks pretty good. It's technically got a smaller mouth, 
Oh, okay, I need to actually offset a couple of these blocks. They're a little... He's got a much smaller mouth than an actual squid, but he doesn't need to have a giant mouth anyway. Well, <laughs> it's pretty giant anyway, but <laughs> it doesn't have to be the exact same size. Because, uh, you know, he could probably stick a whale in this, or at least a small whale, if he really wanted to munch on a whale. Alright, well, after that, uh, the next thing is all the walls, and eventually the ceiling, or the top of his head. Uh, I'm probably just going to build up one of those, that way it's easy to copy and paste, you know, just to look at one and figure out what I want to do for the other. So, I've been working on it quite a bit, and uh, I realized a few things. First off, I realized I was in a texture pack where the squid didn't quite look the normal way a squid normally does, which was throwing me off a little bit. So let's look, go look at this Kraken one last time. There's the underside. I'll have to change that a little. And, uh, yeah, seems to be all the different sides are, have their own texture on this guy, which is good that I noticed that, because I was about to copy them all. So uh, I went and looked around on the interwebs and found a better... Uh, image or of all the different sides of the uh, squid. That way I could properly get this thing um, a good paint job. <laughs> and there's that side. And I even have a little creeper up there. Uh, probably going to blow the hell out of me when I go and work on this some more. <laughs> Let me go take care of that. Uh, and also I noticed that uh, once I built the first side, the front was one block too high, which meant that I had accidentally screwed up right about in here and had to redo half of the uh, front squid face. I accidentally had an extra block tall in there that I didn't need. Uh, just need these zeros. And hopefully I can get this guy off. <laughs> Moving target. Oh, come on, you. There we go. Burn, baby, burn! Disco Inferno! Uh, I'm just going to take another shot. I kind of wish I had knockback on this. Uh, I, I usually have punch on a bow. Personal preference. Oh, pff. Took it a while to realize I got hurt. Pff. It's still taking a while. Alright, uh, where am I on this? This thing's a little bit hard to follow, especially since every single one of these is a little different. Um, okay. I just need to finish this bit off. Uh, okay, I think I need one of these blocks there. And this is my block. I'm, I can tell where I'm at from right here, basically. Okay, I need light. Uh, this is complicated and difficult. Get this copy job correct. Skip a color. Okay. Now I'm good to go. And four of these? One, two, three, four, yes, four. Ah. That's the problem with the <laughs> basically pixel art is uh, getting it pixel perfect. Um, sure, it's not a really big image, but getting it just right without screw ups, difficult. Okay, that's two. This is going to be the last one here. And then one of these. And then. One of those. I think this is the level I gotta... No, no, next level up. I hope. <laughs> um, hopefully I didn't screw this thing up. One, two. Ah, yes, I think I did. Yes, I did. Aha. Uh -huh. Like I said, very easy to screw this up. I have I hadn't had to do any really big sections redone besides half of the face, but usually I can tell if I've screwed up somewhere within a line. Um, usually. I think I need a spot there and then this here. So this, anyway, this is going to be an addition to the C world. <laughs> so you over there, basically. And uh, I actually went to a real C world when I was a kid. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Of course, these days it seems to be, um, most of the time when you hear about C world, it's a whole bunch of animal rights viol violations and things. And yeah, uh, to an extent, I can agree. Uh, a lot of the animals do belong out in this open sea where they originally are from. The, they don't have to be constantly in captivity and probably shouldn't ever be in captivity. But to be honest, to some extent, 
you could say the same thing about a cat or a dog, except my particular cat has massive flea allergy, so it's far better off being inside the house rather than being outside in the wild. And also it's better fed, which is obvious considering my cat is like sumo cat sometimes, which actually tried... I uh, changed its uh, food dish uh, to a much smaller food dish, and she seems to be losing weight and not panicking that uh, her food's not constantly full. Man, this is really tedious work here. One, two, one up. All right, then I think I need this color. And then skip over to this color. One, two, three. Three, four. Man, this is... Uh, I don't mind doing this kind of thing. It's just doing this specific action on camera. It's really tough. Alright. Okay, I think I know exactly where I'm at. It's really easy to miss, uh, to lose your place on one of these images. Especially since you got to look over at it all the time. Okay. Two of that color. And then I need one of these blocks. This block. Okay. Whew. I think that's correct. <laughs> I hope that's correct. Otherwise, I'm going to be redoing bits. There we go. Alright, well, I got all the sides done. Uh, looks pretty good. And now it's blatantly obvious that all the sides are a little different. Um, it looks pretty good this way. Anyway, as I was saying, SeaWorld, the real thing, uh, I had a lot of fun there when I was a little kid. Uh, they had a whole lot of different um, things in there, like giant jungle gems of doom, a whole bunch of sea life attractions, gigantic aquariums, uh, and things like that. Uh, I even get to see people diving in the giant aquariums and messing with the fish. Uh, I don't remember too much about it, because I was just a little kid when it happened. Uh, probably like 10, 12, something like that. Well, anyway, I got a sticker on it. Yeah, um, <laughs> you could call it a roof, but at the top of the head <laughs> on this guy. <laughs> and uh, then we can work on some other bits and pieces. I may redo that mouth, since I actually have a proper image of a good mouth now. Uh... But uh, we'll get to that a little later. Let's see. All right. According to this image, the top of the head starts here. And I need to do it. Ah, pfft. Get out of here, you. I need to start with this particular kind of block. Yeah, it's using up quite a lot of material. I'm glad I went and dig around in the mesa for like several hours. Um... All right, this thing is this color all the way across except like one block. Now this isn't going to be perfect because uh, like up in here, I think there's like three blocks that are actually purple on the top, yet the, uh, well, actually <laughs> brown in this case <laughs> on this side. I guess it's not the exact same colors, but it will. But uh, we'll just have to make do with it like this. Okay, I think this is correct. Yes, okay. Now, the next one, just a little bit of blue. Uh, what is this stuff? Blue, okay. Blue, and then just goes down a color. Most of the way across, except over to here. Um, it's two of those, okay. Eh, kind of deciding what kind of dress up to stick on this guy first. I may actually leave that into up to you guys in the comments. I'm going to dress this guy up in some kind of, you know, stick a hat on him or a face mask or stick a certain something or other in his tentacle when I make those. Leave suggestions, and uh, I'll look through all the suggestions, and I might even cycle through and get several of them throughout, you know, the series or something. Every couple weeks or so, I might go change something out. And uh, dress them up a little differently. So I had several ideas. Uh, but I'll have to probably write them all down. And write them all out. 
This the right color? Yeah. This it doesn't have any of the of this light gray stain. It doesn't have a real the super light color on the top at all. Uh, it's kind of funky how once you actually try to make art uh, or a general uh, copy of an actual mob, how much you actually get to um, really pay attention to exactly how they are textured. So I've made a giant skeleton before. That was actually a lot of fun. Uh, it looked great, too. Um, of course, lot loads of people have made giant creepers. Uh, I think it was this color. And I don't think I've made much else. I might have made a... Uh, I, obviously, I've made giant trees, but I don't think I've made any other giant mobs besides skeletons. But, you know... It was a lot of fun anyway. Where am I on this freaking texture? I think I need to stick in one more here, but it just doesn't seem like this is the right length. Is this four wide? Yeah, I think it is. Okay, that's correct. Huh. But if you ever do get into any kind of pixel art, expect tediousness. <laughs> it's just the way it goes. I don't think this block actually goes there. 